So we've talked about the effects of microgravity and how that changes things in the body, how pressure and temperature can change things like the blood, fluids, air in your lungs. Now, the last one, which is sometimes usually the most obvious uh, that people think about when they talk about space problems, health problems, and that sort of thing, is radiation. Now, um, as we touched on earlier in section one, uh, the Earth's atmosphere, due to the magnetic field, protects us from a lot of radiation in space. Um, you can see the unit on planets and learn a little bit more about that as well. Um, but this is a really big thing. Uh, the magnetic field here on Earth protects us, keeps it safe, and makes it such that radiation from the sun and cosmic rays and all sorts of things don't bombard us here on the Earth. Now that keeps us healthy, keeps us safe, and all sorts of things. That dramatically changes when you leave the Earth's atmosphere. Uh, when you start to leave the Earth's atmosphere, that kind of protective bubble of the atmosphere and magnetic field decreases, meaning you're exposed to higher levels of radiation. And it gets even worse if you get to the moon and Mars. So what are the consequences of that on the human body? We're all getting radiation every day, all day, every day. Um, if you look at it on this scale, um, we probably sit around the number two uh, uh, as the amount that we get um, over the course of a year. Um, when doctors say, yes, you can have your x-ray, that's fine, it's because they're proposing to let you have a small amount more radiation on top of that and really it doesn't matter. When they say, no, you can't have your full body CT scan just because you want to know what you look like on the inside, it's because you're asking for five years worth of radiation in the space of a few minutes. What about in space? If you go to the International Space Station for six months, you get equivalent to working in a, as a radiation technician for about five years' worth of work. Um, is that a problem? NASA says no. NASA says that's fine. Their career radiation limit is up here, and with that career radiation limit, they say that they accept that 3% of their astronauts will die from cancer that they wouldn't have had if they hadn't gone into space. Even that is, uh, um, one could say, is probably uh, not a problem, and that's because uh, NASA is proposing to send people to Mars. If you send someone to Mars, you're actually going beyond the career radiation limit for a NASA astronaut. Um, you can't get to Mars and uh, be within that realm of radiation of what's currently considered acceptable.